What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd, coming to you bearing good news. A very useful and very long awaited feature is finally here. It is live, you can use it right now. And that feature is automatic SMS reminders for upcoming recurring service events. Meaning, for example, you can now have automatic text message reminders sent out to your customers to remind them when it's time to book their maintenance. And this is huge. This is going to save your call center a ton of outbounding. This is going to help ensure that recurring service events don't end up falling through the cracks. And frankly, it's a feature that your customers want. And just to be clear, this feature is not a Marketing Pro exclusive. It is available to everybody on the Essential Package and higher. So Marketing Pro users did get early access to this feature, so they've had access to the open beta version of it for a while. But as promised, it is not staying that way. It is now opening up to everybody. So let's jump into Service Titan and let me show you how to get this set up. So you will be setting this up from the Marketing tab via this Create Campaign button. Now if you do go to your Follow-ups tab under the Recurring Service Events, you will see a new link there that says Automate with Text Messaging, but clicking that just takes you to the Marketing tab anyway, so really this is where you set it up. From there we are going to click Create Campaign. Now depending on whether or not you have Marketing Pro, you may see different options here. But in any case, we are looking for this option, SMS text messages, recurring service event follow-ups. Then we will click next and it's time to name our campaign. And something real quick to note here before we jump in, you do have to have the chat feature enabled in order to use this feature. So hopefully you already have the chat feature enabled. If not, what, what are you doing? But yeah, you will have to have that on in order to use this. And from here, we will name our campaign. We can add a description if we want to, that part is optional and then we will hit Start Building. And that will launch us into this screen. So we can edit that name if we want to, we can add that description. Now we do need to pick a launch date. This is the first day where we want this rule to start running. Now once it's running, it is going to just keep running until you turn it off. So this is just the launch date. This is just, hey, this is the day when I'm ready for this thing to start running. And the earliest possible option is going to be tomorrow, so the day after whatever day it is when you're building this. Okay, after that, we need to tie in a tracking number in order to track this campaign. So we have two options there. Either we can generate a new tracking number or we can just select one that we already have. For this example, I'm going to generate a new one. And if you are a Phones Pro user, then you'll also get this reminder that you need to assign this number in Dialpad as well so that you can receive phone calls that go to this number. Okay, once we've got that squared away, we're gonna hit next. And from here, we can select our audience. Now, if you are a Marketing Pro user, then you'll probably have multiple audiences here. But whether you have Marketing Pro or not, you will have this pre-built audience called the 30-Day Recurring Service Reminder Audience. Now, from this kebab menu, this three-dot menu over here, we can edit that audience if we wanted to. But I don't really recommend it. If it's the 30 days that you're worried about, if you feel like that's too far out, there is another step coming up that will help us address that but you can mess with it if you really need to, especially if you're already a Marketing Pro user and you're pretty comfortable with the audience builder, that's fine. But for the purposes of this example, I'm gonna leave it alone, so I'm just gonna select that one and choose Next. Then we need to agree to our terms of use here, saying that we're not going to misuse this and use it for purposes that it's not intended for. So we're gonna agree to that. That is actually important, by the way. There are a lot of legalities around how you can send text messages to people. So like, actually do this. Don't use this for things it's not intended for. Then we're gonna hit continue. And from this page, we can do a few things. So first of all, we can edit what the text message itself is going to look like. This is what you get by default. It says, hi, customer first name. It's time to schedule your next maintenance visit with company name. Appointments are filling up fast, so schedule with us soon by replying here or calling us at tracking phone number. Now, if you use online booking, then I also highly recommend adding your online schedule link. So you could just add to the end here, or schedule online via this link. And then I would drag in my schedule appointment link. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now the next thing is picking the time of day that I want these texts to be sent. So for this example, I think I'm gonna set it for like 12.30, 12.40 is fine. Yeah, 12.40, 12.39, close enough. That way, you know, we're sending this around like a, a common time for people to have a lunch break, maybe a good time when they'd be able to address it but that's just my thought process, you do you. Okay, now the next thing that we can do here is add a second text message, another follow-up. And that's why I told you before that if you felt like 30 days was too far out, don't worry about it, we can take care of that here. 
So they will still get this first message 30 days out, but then what we can do is click this little plus button right here, and let's say we'll wait 10 days. So if they don't get their maintenance booked from this first one, then we'll wait 10 days and then we'll send them another reminder. That way you're able to kind of just poke them again, you know? Again, I'm gonna add my online schedule link to this second message. And we'll choose our time of day for the second message. Maybe this time we'll try later in the afternoon because maybe that's better for them. So this time I'll try them at 3 p.m. All right, then we're gonna hit next. We're gonna get this overview. We get the opportunity here to send ourselves some uh, test texts. We could make any edits if we needed to, but if we're good to go, then we're just gonna hit schedule text message. That's just gonna give us one more confirmation box and we're gonna hit schedule. And congratulations, that's it, your campaign is scheduled. So any text replies to these messages are going to go to the chat section as you would expect. And if you're on Phones Pro, do remember to set that tracking number up in Dialpad to make sure that if anybody tries to call that number that that's going to work. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Go on and get that set up, enjoy. I hope you're excited about it, I know I am. Be sure to hit like if you liked the video and found it valuable. Be sure to subscribe to Service Titan's YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. Hit that bell icon so that YouTube notifies you anytime we upload a new video. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think I should make a video on next. Please remember that your engagement via likes, comments, and subscriber numbers are the ways in which my success is measured. Appreciate it. Peace.